What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. Look, I'm trying to start the live streams, trying to do them once a week on a Wednesday. I'm having a little bit of a technical difficulties. I don't know if the first one's going to be able to start this Wednesday. We might have to push it back later in the week or we just begin next week. I'll keep everyone updated on the show. Uh, it's a mic delay issue. It's pissing me off. I'll get it figured out. Don't you worry about that. But we got a lot of news in this video. I couldn't even fit everything in on the side on this ticker. We're talking Ripple YouTube, JD Vaughn, CME Group, 40 alts that can make you a millionaire. Casino that gambled the wrong way and lost all their money. Lux Lions, Ripple sells a major asset. Mount Gox, we're going to squeeze it all in. Without further ado, please sit back, relax. I'll try to stop yelling. Let's jump into a Bitcoin $63,746. It's currently up 2% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at 3,418. It's up 2.26%. USDT still coming in at dollar peg. It's USDC. It just doesn't want to break it. Coming in at a mean lean 99 cents. Has XRP. Yeah, buddy. 54 cents. It's showing some life. Remember this morning when we did the video and there was a little bit in the red. It was down by like 0.15%. Now we're looking at up point. 3% love to freaking see it XRP man I'm telling you it's gonna make that move it's gonna break 56 cents and we're gonna send this thing off into parabolic mania paramania what's the correct word I'm working for the freaking moon how about that total cryptocurrency market cap 2 trillion 357 billion man I'm feeling bullish let's just do a quick check you know I've been buying quant I actually doubled down on my quant buys I was I do 400 bucks every Monday I just changed that I'm doing 800 bucks every Monday so yes they know the 800 bucks in the quant I mean come on this thing is easy even though my dollar cost average is still around like 100 bucks maybe 99 I'm not worried about because this thing this thing's going to give me an 8 to 10x. Let's look at another one that uh, I'm looking to get right now. I'm looking to stock up. Look, I don't have a lot of curve. I think we're looking at on this thing, to be quite honest with you, when the bull market is all said and done, I think for the... Uh, I think we're going to get this thing around back to its all-time high. If not, listen, you know I'm a conservative kind of guy. Five to seven bucks on this, Okay. It's 28 cents, folks. My buy average, I did $3,000 at 69 cents. If you were me and this thing's 28 cents, what would you do? Yeah, you know exactly what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to jump in this today. Let me see how it plays out. I mean, 28 cents, I'm not going to nickel and diamond. I'm going to buy it today. I'm probably going to do about, I'm thinking maybe 5,000, 5,000, maybe six. To really get my average down into that 30 cent range, then we're going to be sitting pretty. Then we just forget it. We sit back, we relax, and we forget it. Look, Olympic Pride Tier NFTs. Get them. Get them now. You are getting a token with it, right? You're going to be able to stake it. You earn XRP for holding it. And you're going to be able to get some amazing prizes if the NFT you get, if your country gets the most gold medals in the Olympics, which starts in about a week and a half, or the sport, the event you have on there, if you win a gold medal. I don't know what you're doing. 700000 given back to our holders already. Look at this one. What a genius. Crypto casino founder apologizes for gambling away the investor's funds. Galaxy says... It's former general partner, Richard Kim. He took 3.67 million of the funds and he gambled it away. Maybe if you have a gambling problem, you shouldn't run a casino. Just like if you're a drug dealer, you probably shouldn't have a drug problem. You know? Like, like what is this dude doing? Idiot. Idiot, folks. Mount Gox. They're moving 44,500 Bitcoin. You worried? You nervous? I'm not. Let them bring it on because as Mando says, all that money sooner than later, you know where it's going into all coins. Then Ripple, pretty crazy. They released 50 videos today on their Ripple YouTube channel. 50 videos. Uh, was it just a data dump? Did someone just forget to do their job? I'm, I'm, I'm confused on this. I'm very confused on this. Then look at this. Trump's running mate right here, GD Vance. 
if this doesn't get you excited about crypto and about the future of crypto, and you know we got the election right around the corner, listen to what my man's about to say right here. Go on, listen up. If there's a candidate for worst person, in my view, at least in terms of my substantive degrees, you know, disagreements, I'm sure he's like a nice guy, uh, is Gary Gensler. OK, so Gary Gensler is sort of the complete opposite of my view. And there are two problems that I have with Gary, uh, one of which is that I think he wants to inject politics way too much into the actual business of securities in the United States of America. But uh, the, the, in some ways, the more fundamental issue, or at least the most relevant issue uh, for, for this particular conference is you know, the, the approach that Gary has taken to regulating blockchain and crypto uh, seems to be almost the exact opposite of what it should be. Uh, it, you know, and I'm oversimplifying a little bit, but the question the SEC seems to ask in regulating crypto is, is this a token with utility? And if it's a question, if it's a token with utility, then they seem to want to ban it. And if it's a token without utility, they don't seem to care. I almost think we should be the opposite here, right? I worry about financialization. I worry about, frankly, whether a lot of the crypto stuff is fundamentally fake, but if a token actually has utility, that's the sort of thing that, you know, by all means, regulate it. By all means, be careful about, you know, how consumers interact with it. But you don't want to just get rid of this stuff. And, and here's where I really, really worry about this is a lot of the newest challengers to social media, the social media incumbents of 2024 are going to require some blockchain technology to make their to make their business work. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe they'll require a, 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 a token that supports verification. Um, there are all of these ways in which the companies, when I talk to sort of friends who are still in the VC industry, the companies that are most exciting to them, they're doing actual things. All right, we can cut it there. My man's bullish on crypto. That's huge. Trump's going to the Bitcoin conference. He's about to drop a speech that's going to be heard around the world. He said before, and I showed you the tweet, he wants to back the US dollar with Bitcoin. The future of crypto is so bright, especially when slash if Trump gets reelected, folks. He is about crypto. He understands it. He's getting it. CME group. Look at this. Here's all the currency pairs with the CME group. You see the Brazil, Canadian, Euro, Great British Pound, Japanese, Korean. Look at all these pairs. Holy. Holy, folks. This is big time. There is a reason why the CME group is tracking these pairings. There is a reason. They want real-time data. If you think for one second that we're not getting an ETF or XRP, you're out of your mind. Whoever that jerk was, that schmuck, saying there's no demand, please, you believe him? If you believe him that there is no demand for XRP, you, you should just sell all your crypto and get out. Just go. If there was no demand for XRP, it wouldn't be in the top 10. It has never fallen out the top 10. It wouldn't be listed on every exchange every major exchange around the world if there was no demand folks there is a lot of demand let me get this article 40 all coins that can transform one mil uh 1000 to 40 million look at this he's got xrp on there weird market cap 30 billion target 6x to a 10x i'm not sure i think if he adds all these up it gets there Look, a 6x XRP from here brings us back close to the all-time high. A 10x puts us at about $5.40. It makes sense. It 100% makes sense. Break in July 33rd, July 23rd, 33rd. Yeah, I made that one up, right? July 23rd, ETFs are launching for Ethereum. Here we go. We talked about it. We're going to see a mass amount of inflow going into Ethereum, which is going to help start the bullish run up for altcoins the real move for alts is coming in 2025 folks to make it this xrp sets its sights on six dollars listen i really firmly do believe that a six dollar xrp is coming at a minimal a six dollar xrp puts us at a six percent market dominance which xrp has achieved every single time 
I believe that is where we are going. That's where we are heading for XRP at a minimum. You know to target. I, you know, I feel bad because I keep telling you to target. But I want people to know the target because people are getting excited right now for no reason. But the real target is 75 cents. We get break 75. We hold 75. We are ready to go on this thing. And then we get this. What's up with Ripple, right? They they exited the Trangelo position. We own 40% of Trangelo. They sold it. They're out. Why is the question? Obviously, there's a strategic move here. I don't know what it is just yet. But they don't own it. This was going to be huge. A lot of people starting to speculate that Ripple's getting away from payments. That payments are outdated. That no one needs payments anymore. I don't buy it. I don't believe it. I think that's a 100% false narrative. If that is the correct narrative, then guess what? 99.9% .9 of crypto will go away. There actually wouldn't really be a use case for crypto because most of these cryptos revolve around making payments or moving value through a blockchain. Is this a big deal? No. Why isn't it a big deal? Well, we never really seen anything come from the Trangela partnership. It was nice that it gave us open access to all of Trangelo's previous connectors, but we have to see where this thing's going to go. Listen, I'm going to leave it like that, though. Wash your damn hands, be nice, and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.